Forces operative for the new Wu Tai government. We'll prove to our common enemy that Wu Tai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. Cool. Should we say hi? No, better not. After what they've done, you gotta assume Shinra's on their tail. Look, a Moogle! Hmm? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Stop! <sighs> we gotta help. Get moving. Got it. Whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. They deserve what's coming to them. Yeah, they do. But I'm not your sister. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. They just appeared. Now, let the hunt begin. There's no never here. Just you, me, and the rest of these maniacs. <laughs> Bring it, baby. <laughs> this is Ramblin' Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Colt, the visionaries are ready to dance. Are you? Toxic illusion. Fallen deeper spot Static delusion This is where we do or die And I've been here before Face to face with the guns Up against all the odds And I'm the only Boy, do I got a bone to 
kill is always new. Song's over, people. And so is Ramblin' Frank. The rest of you motherfuckers are next. <laughs> Scout log, 30 minutes since last crash. This forest contains extensive ruins of a xenotype civilization. Ancient walls, foundations, and statues. The forest is a swamp now. That's... That can't be here. This must be the city created by the sentients. Scans show that the broadcast originates from the tower. This technology seems to indicate the designers were part of a hive mind. I've passed through the teleportation gate into a sprawling desert, detecting another strange energy from the mountain's summit, ascending towards destination. These pillars affect the severed so profoundly. This isn't... No, it is same coordinates as the desert. I... I recognize the mountaintop, but... Where are the rune structures and... Helios? This has changed. Everything has changed. timid. <laughs> Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for forest creatures. Hello, spirit. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. Our village is bound to the shrine's energy. But that power
I'm Alex Preston, creative director of Heart Machine. You might know us as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here to show you the first peek at gameplay for our new title, Solar Ash. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. The game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Void, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. At its core, Solar Ash is a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. As you journey to save your planet, you'll find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Our combat system is simple, fast, and fluid, built to empower players and encourage flow. As you explore the Ultra Void, enemy encounters will scale to greater and greater sizes. Some of these creatures require speed and precise timing to defeat. Ray will eventually need to face the massive sentinels of this void, wretched, starved beasts that hold the key to her quest. Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high stakes battles atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something we think is incredibly unique, and more importantly, fun. This game is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, Creative Director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? In Soulstorm, you reprise the role of Abe, accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution, as you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. We really wanted to bring this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds much more depth and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback, as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. There are well over 1,000 fellow Mudokans that you must try to save along the way. But they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. And there will be times when the extra hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for all. In order to stand a chance against this much larger threat, we gave Abe the ability to scavenge, loot, and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. You can also play as a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. We wanted you to have the choice. But there is one iconic ability for our shamanic protagonist, possession. This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, patience and stealth. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites and ancient forgotten lands. Here, we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills and find different ways to handle things. 
It won't be easy. If being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also more dangers in the forms of natural obstacles, ancient traps, trials against swarming dark creatures, and industrial hazards that must be dodged, crossed, and avoided. Ultimately, Abe's journey is one of hope, freedom, and truth. There is a rich and engaging narrative to discover in a world full of lies, and we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before. In true Oddworld fashion, your actions in-game will decide the fate of Abe and all those you manage to liberate along the way. And we can't wait to see what you will do. Hi. I'm Josh from Bellin Studios. We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores with epic dodgeball battles. Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off mode, you'll go head-to-head -head in a constantly shrinking battleground relying on your reflexes and abilities to knock out an opponent. A well-timed catch powers up the ball, making it easier to land a hit. Use trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Fake a throw to mess up your opponent's timing and knock them out before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot with a ball flying your way, a last second dodge is the difference between getting knocked out and staying in the fight. Keep your wits about you and outplay your opponent to bring home a win. Let's jump into Team KO, our 3v3 mode. Teamwork makes the dream work in Knockout City. If your crew is outmatched, a well-coordinated team can still dominate. We're playing in Back Alley Brawl, a new map that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. The special ball for this match is the Sniper Ball, which locks onto targets from far across the map and wham! You can take them out before they have a chance to react. Beyond special balls, each map features a unique mechanic. In Back Alley Brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponents. Caught empty-handed? You can literally become the ball, a new weapon for your teammate. Yeah. Or risk it all. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. The team here at Velen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout City is coming out May 21st, and we'd love your help in our final stretch of development.